Thank you for coming, Melissa. <sighs> it's been a hard week, and I get so terribly depressed sometimes. But you always make me smile. Even in spite of everything? Thank you, sir. I try. And how is your mother? Or do you mean the situation in the city? I'm not sure I quite understand what I'm doing here. Just listening. Things have been hard. The Lord Regent depends on me to help control the spread of the plague. These aren't easy decisions. This document I carry granting me legal immunity isn't a blessing. It's a burden. Carries so much responsibility. We all depend on you, sir. There you go again. Making me smile. I have an idea. Why don't you stay at the house tonight? I'll be working late, and there's more than enough room in my chambers for a delicate creature like you. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, it's no bother. We can share a bottle and pass the dreary hours together. I couldn't. My husband will be waiting. Hmm. It's only just occurred to me. The late coach isn't running tonight. It's not my fault. It's the regent. He said to keep it standing by, uh, just in case I'm needed. But, sir, I live out past the old walls. That's why I needed it. I know. That's why I'm concerned. The plague's headed west this past week. I've heard of weepers on Market Street, even on Finfic Lane. I'd hate to think of you making that walk alone. But you know best, I suppose. We all make our decisions. Yes. That's true. Sir, I think it would be my pleasure to stay with you tonight. Good. Then it's settled. I think I'll start the evening with a bath. Until then, feel free to relax. You're off duty for now. Yes, sir. I'll just... relax. Have a drink, maybe. It could be a long night. Delilah, listen to me. You don't understand the position I'm in. I had to say those things about you. They were saying I was crazy, or worse. Don't you know they're hanging people for witchcraft now? Last night they stopped my carriage in Holger Square. The overseers don't care about rank or a piece of paper from the Lord Regent. I don't know what you're planning, and I don't want to know. I know they found the heir to the throne, and I know she's part of it. And your paintings that think or speak or whatever it is they do. Delilah, I won't tell you to stop. I know you're proud. I just don't want you to be killed. Bollocks! She can't hear me at all. <laughs> With Timps gone, we, we need all the help we can get. Like that woman, Delilah. Shut up. You want to bring that crazy woman back down on us? Don't even say her name. Thank you. 
I saw Talia. She's waiting where she said she'd be. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as a That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter, an artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older, and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll be leaving soon. Goodbye, Dad. Temp is ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. Jessamine Colbin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colbin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't.
Doubt we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men, and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Prematurely. Careful. Your careless words will bring us both down. You worry too much.
one's done. There isn't any fight left in him. No wonder they keep to the shadows. They're nothing in a standard. They'll remember us. Our men smashed Dao's assassins. What's wrong? Waiting for the outsider to help you? When he regains consciousness, we'll gut him. Slowly. I'll survive. <laughs> I'll await your signal. Artist claims he memorized the litany on the white cliff in a night. Mm -hmm. Is it possible? No, no, no. Heart dies. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. <clears throat> Sir, if I could just say, the men aren't happy. The prisoners are secured, but the interrogations have been unsettling. The ones that talk are worse than the ones who won't. And there's still no sign of Dao. We wait. Dao will on? show. What now? Guards, it's you. Let him get So much for the legend. I Here you are! Dao was a master yeah. assassin, spinning his...
the last time. Where is Dowd? You're only moments from death. Talk or die, scum. It's all the same to me. The new application is as weak as the last set. Yes, yes. Paying attention. I am going to pull the pin in a moment. No one will even know you were here. Just tell us where Dao's gone. If he's so great, I'm sure he'll kill us when we find him, so why not?